NASA is about to give an update about its next attempt to launch its mega moon rocket. Central Florida and the nation set to watch the SLS rocket lift off from the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. Mission managers had to scrub the launch with only 40 minutes to go on Monday. The crew's running out of time to fix technical issues like engine cooling. Now NASA is looking at 2.17 on Saturday afternoon for a liftoff. The launch window is open for two hours. After the first scrub, officials say they had to pour through the data, making sure everything is perfect for launch. Officials are about to start giving the latest update about their plan to get the rocket off the ground. Hopefully this weekend, News 6's James Barvero live at the Launch Complex 39 tonight with more on the specific timeline of events. Now that we are less than 48 hours away, hopefully from launch, James. It's a good sign again, Matt, that the clock is click ticking down here at the Kennedy Space Center press site. Turned on this afternoon for the first time since the scrub Monday. All indications are it's counting down to the launch window opening on Saturday. And if the space launch system finally gets off the ground and on its way to the moon, it will be to the delight of potentially 400,000 people or more, according to Brevard County's government. At any moment, the Artemis One mission managers, they should be providing the latest on preparations and a new teleconference. We know from the last update on Tuesday night, NASA said it would begin chilling the rocket's engines 30 or 45 minutes earlier in the countdown. When they ran into the engine cooldown problem Monday, the launch director said the crews ran out of time to fix it, causing the scrub. NASA also blames its challenges working the first launch attempt on the weather. On Tuesday night, the weather officer said the forecast Saturday was more likely to cause a scrub than a launch. However, now Saturday's forecast, it's upgraded to a 60% favorable chance for liftoff. Earlier, it was a 60% chance of a violation. So we're listening, listening in right now. They have not yet gotten started. On Tuesday night at the same time when we got our update that the launch would be Saturday, they were running about five minutes late. But once they got started, they did break the big news pretty quickly. So if you'd like to listen in right now to be right on top of it when that news comes down, find this story right now on ClickOrlando.com. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. James, thank you. If you're planning to go out to the Space Coast to watch the launch, you'll want to plan ahead, as you can see by this picture right next to me. Brevard County leaders expecting close to 400,000 people or more at popular viewing spots. The county's asking drivers to consider keeping food and water in the car just in case. And while there's a lot of great locations to see the rocket, there's one place where you can get to experience something unlike any other. Tucked away on 36 acres on Merritt Island, just 10 miles south of the Space Center, is Remelia Farms, where you can watch a launch with a mimosa in one hand and a sloth in the other. Jeremy and Lena Graves say they have a prime location to host space and animal lovers. With sitting in your car for two and a half to three hours versus being on here playing with cute animals and doing other activities that you could have done while also supporting a, a good cause for a nonprofit. Does sound better than sitting in your car and all that traffic. Graves say the money raised from rockets, sloths, and mimosas will help keep that going. You can find all the info on where to buy tickets for the event and help the organization on our website, clickorlando.com. Well, if you do not want to hold sloths while watching history or don't feel like making the trip out to the Space Coast, New 6 has you covered. You can watch the launch from any angle by choosing your view on ClickOrlando.com. We will also bring you a special live stream starting on Saturday afternoon on the free New 6 Plus app available on your smart TV. And, of course, we will have extended live coverage of the liftoff right here on News 6. You can also keep up with the very latest developments in the Artemis One mission anytime at clickorlando.com. Just head to the space page or download our free mobile news app.